What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hash for Hub. It's about 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time, January 22nd, 2018. And we're coming to you with a brand new Bitcoin trading video. But first, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, upvote, resteam, all would be greatly appreciated. Um, so let's get let's get right into it right now. Um, like I said, we're looking at Bitcoin right now. This is a four-hour basis. And I think we, when we made our video last, Bitcoin was like right here, right here. Let's look at this on a one hour basis. Yeah. Bitcoin was like right here. And it sold off and then it was kind of like this mini bearish flag, this mini kind of sideways, almost sideways correction. I would say it's more of a bearish flag. And then the market then fell off from there. So, like what we've been saying for some time, is that you know we have this what we what we were expecting was an ABC correction, and then we had this triangular you know downward facing wedge that had appeared, and what we were thinking is that okay if it's really a wedge and we have A B C D and E, but what has happened, and if you go back I think two videos ago, two Bitcoin videos ago, possibly, I think we were talking about it, we have this t a ton of resistance right here. You see we have this horizontal blue line that I, that I, um, that I drew. We also have this other blue line right here that I drew, okay, which is, you know, hitting the tops of all here. And not only that, we also have something else that we drew which when I change this green line, I actually, you'll see in our last video, I actually angled it down that there's another possibility that the triangle is more like this dotted line. Okay, I understand there's a lot of things going on here, but like I've mentioned many times before, the market can exhibit a lot of different patterns at one time, and you need to understand where they all are at all times. <clears throat> so another thing which we failed to draw, but we obviously knew about it, but I do have to, I guess, eventually limit the amount of uh, lines that we, that, we, that we draw on here, is this line right here, okay? There's another one actually right up here too, but I, I didn't draw it because, again, it's things again getting pretty, pretty messy to say the least. But one of our users on... Well, one of our users on uh, on our Facebook uh, trading team, uh, crypto trading team, had specifically made a, a a chart specifically with these lines in it. This line, this line, the line up here, and the line up here. And it was an it's an excellent, excellent, excellent chart. And it's a great way to take a look at it. So I thank you very much, Jim, for that. And also another one of our users, uh, Sven made I guess what I would consider a more of an advanced head and shoulders I guess maybe we can call it a Viking head and shoulder pattern it's really advanced type of work if you guys are into crypto and to technical technical analysis I I definitely would uh, recommend you joining the group and taking a look at that I think it's definitely worth your while at the very least at the very least it's worth a, a good laugh so we're very happy people are, 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 are utilizing that, that, that page uh, in all sorts of different manners. But one of the things I want to bring I want to bring up here is that possibly we could have you know this bottom line here like Jim had drawn, okay, which is an excellent, excellent, excellent line. Okay. You notice when the market sold off, what did it what did it sell off to? It sold off directly to this line. It kissed this line. Okay. And this is right now where the price action is just you know, it touched it, it came back up, it touched it again. I mean, we can even pull this in a little bit closer, like 15 minutes, okay? This is beautiful, beautiful action, beautiful action that we see here. Um, you can't really, we can't really draw, draw it any better. So, <clears throat> what, are, what, what do we think is going to be going on here? I think, actually, the market may break this line and come back down here. And, 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 and 
hit upon this support level. There's no, there's no, you know, um, you know, this cross right here. This, this, it could be over here. I mean, it's just anywhere where I drew this C. But um, across here, it doesn't doesn't really mean anything. But this line means a ton. It means it means it means a lot. So really, again, I'll say again, really great, great work, Jim and uh, Sven as well. Great work, and but in a, in a, in a different manner, <laughs> um, but still very worthwhile. So I, I do believe that possibly we may break this line. If we do break this line, the next stop is is going to be here. So if we don't, then we may possibly move up here again. But again, look what we have. We have now this dotted line coming down here, and this is resistance. This is resistance. So now we have to get through this resistance line. And don't forget, this resistance line, again, is still here. We're still going to have to get through this. So if this does turn up, then we have this resistance line here, and then we have this one here. We also have this one here. So there's a ton of resistance that this has to come through. So like I had said, we need a lot of buyers to come in the market. And that's why I like the wedge to really play out. I want to get all the sellers out of it. And I don't think all the sellers are out. This right here tells me there's a ton of sellers. Look at the sell volume. People were nervous. They're nervous and they're selling. So I want to get all these people the hell out of the market. Get out of the market so this thing can really run. Now, one of the things we were talking about was specifically this wave right here. Okay, that pot, we were saying possibly if the market were to come up again, and this we're going to make a motive wave. A motive wave is what's going to give us our next bull line. A motive wave happens in five in five waves. Okay, it doesn't happen in three waves. Happens in five waves. If we get a motive wave, it's going to happen in this fashion. I don't think this is going to happen anymore. I think the probability of this happening is lower and lower as every single new bar comes in. Why? Because if this is 1, then 2 comes down here. And now this is lower than 2. Okay? Now, you can draw it a different way. You can say this is 1 and this is 2. But still, we're lower than this too. Anything else like anything else, you can't really say that this is one over here and this is two. No, that, that's not right. At least in my eyes, that's not right. So let's say this is one or this is two or this is one and this is two. Okay, it's got to be something like this. So this this completely, you know, is not is, is not uh, adhering to the rules of Elliott wave theory. So, you know, with this said, we're gonna probably we're gonna leave it here for now. Um, I do believe possibly we may see another we may see a break of this line. You know, th there's there's also now we have this trend right here, this trend line right here, which is looking super. You know, this is great here here here. Okay, so this is another little small triangle. You know, you can draw triangles all over the place on cryptos, and you need to in order to really see what's going on. So now again, this is a small little resistance line. It's not as it's not as strong as like this resistance line here, or this resistance line here, but still, because you know this is this is pretty significant. This is this has a lot of big waves in it, and it has a lot of a lot of points. A lot of it mark a touch it many times, so that gives it a lot a lot of strength. So, if, like I said, if the market does come down, it's going to come down here. Otherwise, if it's going to start coming up again, it has, it's going to hit all these resistance lines, and we're just going to have to really see what's happening. I wish the market were, were to kind of show us a little bit more of, what, of its hand, of what's going on. But that's what happens with corrections. The number one asset you need in, in, in corrections is not so much even money. You need patience. You need patience not to make wrong decisions and spend your money on wrong, on wrong things. Okay, so let's leave it there for now. Any questions, let us know, guys, and uh, happy trading.